welcome back to another video so I'm doing a poly gel set today I'm using these poly gels from McCourt the red is poinsettias proper red that and this is a called chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum um, and it's a nice nude so these are the tips I'm using also from McCourt these are the XXL stiletto half cover tips I really like these because they haven't got a well and they really hug the nail nice I really like them I do snip the end off to turn them into more of a coffin but yeah I really like them so I'm gonna get them glued on to the tips of these nails what I should have done first is buff the shiny surface off these false nails that I've put in to act as the natural nail but I forgot so yeah make sure you buff the shiny surface off them I do do it in a minute but better off doing it before you glue the tips on so I'm gonna get them glued on to these fingers and then I'm gonna snip the ends off just to turn them into a coffin What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to, a couple of the nails are slightly bigger, they hung over the edges a little bit so I'm just filing any excess off the sides of those and I'm going to file where the nail tip is glued on, just file over that to blend it in with the natural nail and I'm going to file and buff off the shiny surface to the whole nail including the tip as well. Right, so that's them all nicely blended in and scratched up. So I'm using the McCourt base coat and I'm just going to give these a nice thin even coat of base coat. If you was doing these on your natural nails, you'd be best off using um, a dehydrator and a primer. But as it's only on tips, we're going to skip that. And this base coat cures in the lamp for 30 seconds as well. Right, so I'm going to do a nail bed using this chrysanthemum on this middle finger and the pinky so I'm gonna just put a blob on there <laughs> I never know what to call it a bead a blob so I have speeded this up slightly because I didn't want the video to be long and there's quite a lot of elements to this set this set took me four hours by the way four hours <laughs> but they turned out really really pretty right so I'm getting it tucked in nice and neat around the cuticle area quite thin at the cuticle area and then I'm going to pull it slightly down the nail and you'll see I just just play around with it and get it the shape you need it to be um, and I never worry about getting it too neat faffing about with it too much because once it comes out the lamp I'm going to file it and get it neat and crisp so once I'm happy with that that's going to go in the lamp for 60 seconds and I'm going to do exactly the same on the little finger as well Right, so that's my nail beds done. I've filed and I've filed these off camera. If you do want to see how I file my nail beds, I've got a few videos um, where I'm filing my nail beds because there's so many elements to this set. I have cut most of the filing out, but yeah, you can go and watch one of my other videos where I do file the nail beds. Right, so this pointer finger, I'm using the red poly gel and I'm gonna do two slices I want a clear slice across the middle at a diagonal so again I'm just gonna get it as neat as I can with the brush and once it's cured in the lamp we can neaten it up with the file You'll be 
Right, whilst that pointer finger's curing in the lamp, this ring finger is just going to be a plain, full red poly gel nail. So again, just get it tucked in nice and thin around the cuticle area and then just keep patting it and pulling it down the nail. And again, that's going to go in the lamp for 60 seconds. Sometimes with colours that are quite deep like this, you want to give them a double cure or flip the finger and cure it from underneath as well just to make sure sometimes that light struggles to penetrate through strong colours like this. So again, I'm going to do my filing off camera with this nail as well. Right, so that's all my nails on, filed and buffed and shaped, ready to decorate really. So this is the glitter I pulled out, it's a beautiful gold hollow, it's just tiny hexes and it's got a fine in there as well. So I'm using a red gel polish and I'm going to paint the free edge of this middle nail and the pinky. I'm going to use a detailer brush to get right up into them corners and I'm not worried about going over the top of that nail bed because this is all going to get filed down as well so yeah if you're doing this make sure you get that gel polish right up into the corners and then that's going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds as well Right, now that gel polish is cured, I'm going to put some of this base coat onto my palette and I'm going to sprinkle some of the glitter into this base coat just to make a little bit of a mixture and that glitter is going to go on the free edge of both of those nails with the nail bed and the gap on the pointer finger, the glitter is going to go in there as well. Now what I want to do with the nails that I've got the nail bed on I just want a kind of glitter fade, I'm going to pack it in quite thick, pressing it right up against the wall of that nail bed and I'm going to fade it down towards the tip. I don't want to completely cover these, the free edge on these nails. Can you see, I want it quite busy, I'm getting it tucked right up into them corners and I'm just going to fade it down and on the pointer finger I'm going to completely cover that negative space with the glitter and that will get put in the lamp for 30 seconds to cure as well Right, now them nails are all cured, I'm going to get them encapsulated. I'm using a builder gel rather than a clear poly gel. And this is because in the past, whenever I have used holographic glitter, I find, I don't know why, but clear poly gel, I seem to lose a lot of the sparkle and the hollow, um, which I don't when I use a clear builder gel. So that's the reason on this particular set, I'm encapsulating them all with a builder gel. So this builder gel cure is in the lamp for 60 seconds. Again, I'm just going to show you quickly filing this one, just so you can see that you can file that gel polish off. You know when I said not to worry about the gel polish going over the edges? This is why, because it gets filed off and it makes it really crisp, really neat and that's how you end up with the kind of, you get a band around that nail bed of the red gel polish and I just think it makes it look really neat and really crisp. Can you see? You'll see when I brush it off, you can see the band of gel polish around that nail bed and I just love how that looks. I like it, it's cute. Right, so that's them all filed and all buffed. So, we're going to get these finished. So, it's top coat time. <laughs> so, I'm going to give all these a top coat. And before I cure the top coat, 
I'm going to get these nails blinged up and then they'll go in the lamp for 30 seconds and that'll be this set finished. Okay, that's them finished. What do you think? I absolutely love them. I'm not going to pick anything about this set that I don't like, which is very unusual for me. There's always something I want to change or I wish I'd done different. <laughs> nope, none of that this time. Maybe a bit of bling on the pinky. <laughs> but no, I'm really happy with them. Um, I will leave the link to this kit below. The kit that these colours came out of is called the House of Florist Kit. 12 colours in it. They are beautiful. Um, and I will leave my discount code which is Aggie15 that gives you 15% off the website and obviously the link to the website will be down there as well but that's it for today guys please remember to give the video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any of my videos and hopefully I'll see you all in my next one take care bye